All right, now I'm going to load my sample onto the column. So I've got my sample here. I've dissolved it in 10 drops of dichloromethane and 10 drops of toluene. So it's ready to be loaded onto the column. I've got my column here, and you can see that meniscus of the hexane is above the level of the alumina. It's really important at this point in time, you cannot let the column run dry. That means you can't let any air touch the top of the column. And after you load the sample, you can't let it close. You can't close the stopcock. So as soon as you get started, you've got to keep going. So what I'm going to do right now is keeping my eye on the meniscus, I'm going to wait until it just touches the top of the aluminum column. As soon as I see that meniscus disappear into the alumina, I close it. Now I'm going to take my sample and load it onto the top of the column. So I have it in a glass pipette and I'm going to put it right on the top of the alumina. Try not to disturb the alumina, let it go in slowly. Now I'm going to open up the stopcock and drain off the bottom. And you can see that the sample is going onto the column as a yellow band. That's exactly what you want to see. I'm going to wait and drain off the alumina again until it just touches the top and I'm going to add just a little bit of sand. Now I'm ready to start collecting my fractions. I'm going to line it up into that first collection vessel and I'm going to add hexanes into the column. I took a graduated cylinder and I measured out where the three milliliter mark would be on it. So now I know exactly where every three milliliters are, and I can just continually capture my fractions as the column is running. You can see that the yellow band has now started to elute down from the top of the column, which is exactly what you want to see happen. So now I'm going to collect my 10 fractions. Uh, it might take more, but at the very minimum, I'm going to collect 10 fractions keeping an eye on the top of the column, making sure that I'm continuously adding hexanes to ensure that uh, the column never runs dry.